Excel has always been able to create a list based on a range using data validation. This feature can be further modified to create a second list that is dependent on the first. So whatever option is entered in the first column drives the available choices in the second. The setup for this feature is a little tricky, but can be modified for a wide range of choices and options. The first step is the list itself. The list can be either horizontal or vertical and be stored either in the same sheet or a different sheet depending on personal need. The first drop-down list is created by selecting either the entire column or just a range of cells. Switch to the Data tab and click Data Validation. From the drop-down list, choose List. In the Source field, select the cells that contain the category options. Click OK and the drop-down list will display those items. The second drop-down list is set up much the same way as the first. Select either the column or range of cells that will contain the drop-down list. Choose Data Validation, and from the drop-down list, choose List. Now the important key to making this list dependent on the first is to use a function called indirect. Type in the first cell in the main list, in this case A1, followed by a close parenthesis. Excel uses the cell A1 as a reference cell, replacing it with whatever cell is needed. So cell B2 is dependent on A2, and B3 is dependent on A3 on down the list. Click OK, and ignore the error that appears. There are still a few more steps to make this feature work. The drop-down list arrow will be available, but nothing is populated yet. To populate the list, Excel needs to know what the different lists are. Select the entire data list, and switch to the Formulas tab. Under the Defined Name group is Create from Selection. This tool will automatically create individual lists based on heading names. In the window, select where the heading names are located. Since this list is vertical, choose only top row. Now, when the dependent list is selected, it displays only the items from that list. The only drawback is that shorter lists will display blanks for any missing items. This can also be fixed by following a couple of simple steps. Select the entire data list and switch to the Home tab. From the Editing group, click Find and Select and choose Go to Special. Select the Blank option and click OK. Only the blank cells will be selected. Right-click inside the selected cells and choose Delete. The key is to shift the cells in the direction of the list. So if the list is horizontal, the cells will be shifted to the left. Since this list is vertical, the cells will be shifted up. Click OK, and when the list is chosen, the dependent choice will only display the available items minus blanks. So with a few tricky steps, a multi-tiered list can be created to display dependent options. Again, the list itself can be stored anywhere inside the workbook and can contain any number of options and sub-options.